Hey guys, I have to keep it quick today. I got to get home. It's kind of later in the afternoon. So I'm going to share the screen and uh, show you guys how to do like a neon lights effect. Um, some examples, by the way, um, here's an Auburn High School version. Um, here's an Auburn High School version. Auburn High School version. Um, here's one. See, it's like white hot in the middle and it glows a particular color. So uh, here's a professional one. Again, like uh, the middle part, is uh, actually kind of a light color, whether it be white or or light pink, pink or light blue, and the glow is a little darker. See what I mean? How the lights are light and the glow is darker, right? So, and then there's a little fog in there to boot, and so uh, let me just point out. Um, see how there's a little fog in there, just for good measure. So, okay, how to do that? Um, here's our logo. I'm going to select just the white part. So just so you can see the, the marching ants and go to either edit copy or command V, I mean, command C, I'm sorry. And then to, to paste it, we'll go to edit paste or command V one or uh, the other. It's the same thing, command V or edit paste. So uh, before we had this, now we have this. I'm just going to double click it and go to color overlay. I'm sorry, not color overlay. You can do that to change the color if you wanted it to be like a light blue or something. For right now, I'm going to probably stick with the white hot, but that's always an option. Uh, what I really meant was to do uh, outer glow. And uh, of course, we can change it to be whatever shade of blue we want. And we can uh, intensify or de-intensify it. Uh, we can make it where it's more blurry, where it's more uh, kind of hard and stuffy. Make it glow as much as you want. You know, you're, you're in control. And then do the inner glow also. We'll also change that to be blue to kind of match. And then again, just kind of intensify or de-intensify. And it makes it a little more 3D. Like, can you see the difference? Let me uh, zoom in and show you the difference with the inner glow. Here's no inner glow. Here's yes inner glow. It makes it more three-dimensional and uh, I think more believable. So there's that. Here's the good news. If I right-click and copy the layer style, I could do it to something else now, like on this helmet, I could right click and paste layer style and uh, it will glow the same. Here's the trick. This began as blue, whereas this began as white. So I do need to go in and uh, I need to go to color overlay for this and change this to maybe be like a, a white, again, kind of white hot. And since this is a thinner line on the inner glow, I'd probably calm that down a little bit. You know, you, you can control it as much as you see fit. But already, boop, this has gone from this to this. And, uh, okay, for a word, you could, of course, right-click and, and paste it. There's one option. But what looks better, I think, is if you do the outline. So here's the kind of tricky one. So we'll, we'll highlight it and make it black. Make it pitch black. And then double-click it. It's still there. It's just hidden because it's black on a black background. But if you double-click it, and go to stroke and tell the stroke to be white. You know, you want that middle to be kind of white hot. And uh, I'm going to put it on the center, make it whatever size I doggone want it to be. We'll go with that right there. Okay, so here's the thing. The layer actually looks like this. It's a, it's a black layer. Um, but we're, we're letting this parasite live on it, this uh, layer style live on it. So it, it seems as though it has a white outline. To make the white outline actually there, you right click it and rasterize layer style. I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna do a funny business thing now. I'm clicking with the magic wand tool and selecting only the letter A. And if I go to select similar, it gets all the letters. I'm just hitting delete. Basically, long story short, um, now it's only got the white and it has no dark inside. And so now when I, you know, double click as before and go to outer glow and, uh, you know, maybe tone that down a little bit, it gets inside the letters. If they were full of black, then it would only glow on the outside. I want to glow inside and outside of those letters. And so, uh, you know, get it to where it's an appropriate size glow for what you're working on kind of thing. And then also again, you know, inner glow as usual increase or decrease it as, as much as you see fit. And then there, there you go. 
Um, you could tweak it until you're satisfied. I could, you know, paste the previous one to see how that does. That's a little much for me. Just tweak it until you're uh, satisfied. And then, just for good measure, I usually type in uh, lens flare. I already copied and pasted it. It's got a little bit of a hard edge, so I'm just going to calm down this eraser and kind of erase out the, the hard edge. And uh, here's the thing. It covers it up, but if I put it on screen, screen screens out the dark colors and only shows light, and I can line it up with, with a particular place, you know. And uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could make a clone and um, just have a, a kind of double effect like that. That's up to you. Um, I also Googled fog PNG, fog PNG, so it turns out kind of whitish, but if I uh, double click it and go to color overlay, I can make it blue in any shade of blue I happen to want. And, uh, of course, then it's up to you, but you could make it so that it's like um, above, beneath, uh, put it where you want it, how you want it. And so uh, I think that's probably enough for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, holler. I've got to run again, but uh, y'all have a good one. Let me know if I can help.